Now, <clears throat> a lot of people aren't going to like what I have to say, possibly, or they might. But uh, I was re-watching Rocky Mysteries' video about uh, love, specifically MRA+, plus, what is love, and I was noted reading some of the comments and listening again to what he was saying. And uh, I thought I really have to make a video response to this on a whole bunch of levels. For one, let me, uh, with this video, declare my very formal opposition to MRA+. Plus. And let me also declare that men who advocate very officially relationship, pursuing relationships with women uh, are essentially advocating the walls. Um, they are not, and men who claim to, ad, well, on the one hand, they advocate for relationships with women, and at the same time, they say res they respect and, and understand men going their own way. This is simply ludicrous. Uh, you can't say you respect and understand something if you just flat out don't agree with it. Um, it's like saying you respect and, and understand feminism. Uh, if you don't agree with it, you're not going to do that. Uh, so that's just bunk. There's no, there's no way that a person, uh, a man who believes in this MRI plus method or just uh, in, in pursuing relationships with women can also say, but I think a man going his own way, uh, McGow, however you want to pronounce it, that, that's a cool thing as well. Uh, it's, just, it's not going to work. They're really completely oppositional views. Um, and there are other oppositional points of view as well. I think many of us recognize the, really, the biological fact that women, not evil, I've never used that word, but are, we, women are inherently more self-interested in, uh, well, just more self-interested than men are. They're more uh, inclined to practice self-preservation. They're less inclined to sacrifice. These are just facts. And this is the software that we, as a species, have been running on for millennia plus. This is what, this is how Wim, this is the software woman's been running on for all that time. Uh, and in the relationship, the man has always played the sacrificial role. Uh, it's ludicrous, once again, to think that that can be reverse engineered or changed. In short, MRA plus, or however you want to put it, when a, when a man says, no, you need to keep on looking, keep on looking for that one, you know, s swimming through the morass of of, uh, of nonsense out there, uh, and at the same time says, "Well, you know, but a man going his way—that's that, that's that's sort of like a last-ditch option." I mean, not really. Uh, that just doesn't work. If if you don't agree with a man go with the principles of a man going their own way, then you can't say you respect it. Um, just like you can't really say you respect feminism if you don't agree with it. Uh, this is a serious rift with uh, what I call men's rights activists. And I see this, I think it's, it is a fallacy to attribute feminism to a polit purely political source. Um, Girl Rights What a while back made a video where she quite correctly stated and observed that feminism is simply the beast gone wild. It is, it is female nature unleashed. Um, so as I've said many times before, Fem polit politicized feminism is simply feminism with a capital F, because lowercase feminism is inherent to the female. Um, that is to say, self-interest and self-interest promoted above the interests of others, um, and certainly to the detriment of men. I, I, I really, quite frankly, Rocky Mystery, have no idea how you can't see that. Um, it, it seems as clear as day to me and many, many others. But... So, yeah, that, that really needs to be said, that there, there's just no compatibility whatsoever with a man advocating uh, relationships with women, albeit proceeding in proceed a, a cautious fashion, as if that's really going to save your ass at the end of the day. And someone on my end of the line, a man going his own way, or other men going to say, you know, I'm just done with this. Uh, in fact, let's be quite honest that a lot of the, whether you were aware of it or not, the, 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 the kind of rhetoric you're using in this video really is a way of just talking down to men like myself, men like Barros, and other men. At the end, you're saying, well, we sim we're simply ignorant because we haven't experienced the so-called attachment phase of love. And so this has led us to become pessimistic and uh, to dismiss love entirely. I mean, 
really? Uh, well, for all I know, maybe it's true. But if that follows, if that's what you say is actually true, that we're simply uh, men who've experienced a string of pessimistic relationships and have uh, ended up as, uh, as men going our own way simply because, because of that string of, pes of, of negative relationships, and then at the end of the video, you say that more or less, you know, world without love is not li worth living in, something to that effect. Then I guess none of our lives are worth living either, since we routinely and consistently live without what you call love. You can see how uh, that talking point uh, doesn't really work well with men going their own way. I think it's time you need to, instead of claiming that you respect men going their own way, that you don't have respect for men going their own way, if you did, you wouldn't be talking down to us in the fashion you do in this video. And if you did, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't uh, profess completely oppositional viewpoints to our viewpoints. Um, this I see as a serious, serious rift. Um, once again, I never use the term evil, but women are, in fact, more self-interested than men are. Even the, this woman commenting on my channel claimed that. So, uh, girl rights what realizes that? Uh, I mean, do you really think it's all just socialized through the mechanism of politicized feminism? It, uh, I just don't see that. Um, so, yeah, I, I just really, at this juncture in time, it needs to be stated that there's, this, there's no compatibility. Um, yes, you can advocate your MRA uh, plus method and what have you, but recall from my previous video on suicide that these are the men, the men you're appealing to are precisely the men with a very weak resistance to kryptonite who are just so desperate to find a female out there uh, who still believe in this fairy tale. Uh, and look, look, what you're advocating is potentially dangerous to these men's lives. If they don't end up killing themselves, who knows what it might happen. I mean, major bouts of depression. Um, and the fact is that no matter how sure you are that you can rely on, on a female, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't even know what's going to happen with your own wife. Uh, there's just no way to know that. Whereas, if you choose to go your own way and avoid entangling relationships with females, there is no such risk. They're just, just incompatible. What you're advocating is you can't say you understand and respect it, and you don't think it's a problem. It is a problem. It's a major, major problem. It's one that either needs to be discussed, and then after a lengthy discussion, we need to have some sort of conclusion, um, and that conclusion could be a whole bunch of things, but I think the conclusion has already been reached now, that what you're advocating is completely oppositional to what some of us are advocating in the other camp, and it's, um, it just doesn't work. Um, and once, like, once again, there's that other point of opposition that those of us who think that feminism is inherent to female nature and that it's simply been politicized on a much larger scale that there is no such thing as female nature in as much as uh, you know, women are not inherently more self-interested than men. They're not. Anyway, why, why were all the workers who died say, trying, to, trying to save all those people uh, men during 9-11? Why are men willing to sacrifice their lives for the sake of others? Much, much more inclined to do so. Is that also because of a couple of decades of, uh, of feminism, politicized feminism? Or is that because of millennia of social and biological behavior, behavioral patterns that have been uh, passed down both in the genes and um, in, in in so socialization patterns, it it just doesn't add up. Um, if you want to blame politicized feminism for everything and then exclude and then take away the blame from from females themselves who have embraced this, who who push it, um, there's a reason why they do that because politicized feminism is just is, is just feminism with a capital F, and feminism lowercase elf f is a, bi is a biological inclination on the part of the vast majority of females. But to be honest, the worst, the worst thing about this is that it is potentially dangerous and giving men a false sense of hope, propagating a fairy tale, no matter how many times you say you need to be cautious, you need to be this, you're still advocating that men seek out women uh, on the, ex the beyond off chance that something might work out. Now, it's all well and good that you have your own experience with your wife, and uh, if you think that it's a solid relationship that will never falter and everything's peaky, uh, you know, uh, perfect and what have you, that's great. Um, but 
your experience is so singular. I don't know any other man, uh, and I've met men all over the world who who can advocate what you're talking about. So it just it just boggles the mind uh, that if even if I were in your position, I I would still would be advocating that that. That at the very least, not to seek out relationships with, with women. Uh, it, it's, I think it's very dangerous advice. Um, and look, and as I said, those are precisely the men who are more inclined towards having a weak a kryptonite resistance and more inclined to, to kill themselves as a result of emotional pain inflicted upon by women. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a simple fact that women are more self-interested and more interested in self-preservation than men are. Men are more willing to sacrifice, they're more willing to give up their own lives for the sake of others, for the sake of, well, anyone. Just as a soldier gives his life for the lives of his fellow soldiers, possibly, very often, man giving his life for the sake of a woman. You can't socially re-engineer all this stuff. It's not going to happen. So, and as the, the hypo, hypo agency model of the female has been in place for so long, this is not going to happen. Um, so, I think it's about time you just come clean and just acknowledge, at the very least, that what you're adv advocating is completely oppositional to men going their own way. Um, it has nothing in common with that, and it's totally on the opposite end. Um, and that you can't claim to respect men going their own way because. You don't approve of it, quite frankly. If you did approve of it, you wouldn't be making videos like this. But uh, yeah, I think we all we all need to have an open discussion about this because th this is clearly, clearly a point of departure amongst I don't even know we men's rights activists. I'm not even sure if that could be you know people can be called that anymore. Just to be perfectly honest, the way you talk down to us in this video, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, this, this, I mean, this idea that we simply haven't reached the attachment phase, and so uh, beset by pessimism through a string of failed relationships, we've reached a premature conclusion of, uh, of deciding to go our own way. And of course, since we live in a world without love, since we have never had the privilege of experiencing it, as many of us have never have. Uh, it's probably just not worth living. I mean, that's essentially what you're saying. I'm not interpreting interpreting anything into it. That's basically what you said. Uh, so I think it's it's time to come clean and let's let's just have a discussion about this because uh, this this just can't go on. Uh, I mean, you, it can go on in the sense that you would continue advocating this, but at the same time, don't say that you you don't mention men going their own way as as a group that you respect because you clearly have no respect for them. Um, we have chosen to go our own way, look at things uh, in, in a much more compassionate fashion than what you're advocating, I think, because we're actually concerned about the welfare of men. Um, what you're doing is only encouraging disaster, ultimately, because the chances, the chances that, that men find what you claim to have found are so slim uh, that you could only be steering men in the, uh, in, in the, in the wrong direction. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have to say about that for now. But, uh, you know, it's just time that we're clear about this, that this is not compatible with men going on their own way, and you can't claim to respect men going on their own way uh, if, uh, if, you don't, if you don't agree with it. Um, it's like saying you respect feminism, which you clearly don't. And we really need to stop this idea that feminism is pure, purely, politically, purely, purely a political thing, purely a political creature that it has no origin whatsoever in female behavior itself. I mean, come on. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this, but, uh, you know, re-watching this, I really caught on to some points you were making. I just thought, this needs to be said.